For this recipe, you'll need green beans, either fresh or frozen, minced garlic, some chopped onion, and some bacon that's been cooked and crumbled. I have about three slices here. And you'll also need either some soy sauce, Bragg's liquid amino, or here to keep this soy free, I'm using coconut aminos. Start out by cooking your green beans. According to the package directions, I'm gonna boil these for about 10 minutes until they're just a little bit tender. While my green beans are cooking, I'm going to saute my onions and garlic in a little bit of olive oil. You can use um, any kind of oil, butter, or even if you have some leftover bacon grease, that would be really good as well. When your green beans are finished cooking, drain the water out and let them sit in the strainer for just a few minutes just to let the steam and liquid evaporate off the beans before you add them into your pan with the onions. I'm going to take some scissors and I'm just going to cut some of the beans because they're just a little bit long. Then just go ahead and add your green beans in with your onions. And then go ahead and add um, your soy sauce or liquid aminos, whatever you choose to use. And you can add how much ever you'd like. If your beans aren't quite tender enough to your liking, then you can go ahead and saute and let them steam in the pan until they reach the desired consistency that you'd like. And then just add your bacon. Just let that saute for a few minutes till the aminos are warm and the bacon is warm. And that's it for this very simple and easy yet delicious green bean and bacon recipe. I hope you'll give it a try. Give this recipe a thumbs up if you liked it and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video.